hello everyone! Welcome to a live stream that I have not done in a really long time. But welcome to our road trip. We are playing open road today. Oh yeah, and also happy Black Friday if you celebrate that and also happy Easter if you celebrate that as well. Don't eat too much chocolate. It's not good for you, although it tastes great. Yeah, the art style of this game is kind of a combination of like realistic assets with cartoon. So that was one thing that brought me to this game. As usual, it's the art stuff that usually gets me to be interested in gaming stuff. I forgot I could actually use my hands today. I have access to that. So uh, I have my, my Leap Ocean detector working. So I don't have a controller plugged in. Because I have not optimized my PC for that. Let me just change around some things. Hope I have the game open. And Steam. There. Okay, so hopefully the volume is good. I know right now there's like no sound. Getting lost, seatbelt, gas, lost cows, getting cows, what? Learning, what was it talking about on the top left? Hmm. All right. How's the volume? I guess it looks like Rama and me, I'm guessing, or Tess, I think. Me, yeah, Grandma, Tess, and, well, I'm guessing our name's Tess. I don't really remember. Helen. It's like the lightest of sounds. Mom wants me to pick up, uh, pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. We are taking a while, but I'm pretty close. It's just been taking a few uh, minutes. Uh, just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Okay, um, yeah, the volume in this game seems to be quite low. Okay. Yeah, okay, our name is Te Tess. Just checking, just checking. We are a horse fan. Okay, so what is this, our ticket? Hmm. Better leave these where mom won't see them. Wait, tickets for what? Oceanic coupon. Okay. Uh, I guess I could read it. Printing, US, blah, blah, blah. Manufacturing passenger tickets, baggage, luggage, blah, blah, blah issued, Oceanic. Oh, I moved it and I can't. Okay, going to Detroit. Okay, going on a, a little trip, fair paid, blah, 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 passenger coupon, okay, no smoking seat, cool, um, Yeah, the text scroll, yeah, it is a little weird. Um, what else do we need to pack? I'm putting our hairbrush. All right, it's great, we can put that wherever. I think I might change the mouse sensitivity because she can really mess up my eyes. Um, <laughs> controls, mouse sensitivity. Yes, yes. My old eyes can't handle that fast turn. It's a little too too sensitive. I guess I could have used a controller. Oh well, whatever. I prefer a controller because you don't have to hear the mouse click, but uh sucks for you guys. You're gonna have to hear my mouse clicking. Hopefully it's not frantic. Okay, there we go. A little bit of screen tearing, but not that bad. Um, 
Photo strip. Me and Dad. What? Oh, laser tag championships. Okay. Okay. What this? I married Bigfoot. I feel like is this a um, uh, Edith Edith Finch reference? This kind of reminds me of. Aliens are here, and you are my favorite recipe. I married Bigfoot. She's great. Um, are you just making fun of your wife for having really large feet? That's that's rude. Uh, pick up my work shirt. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Okay, how was the volume for that? Because that was loud in my ears. Can I leave now? Pack up the rest of my room. What else do we need? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. See you next year. Have an awesome summer. Book. Oh, your book. Got it. Class of 2003. I was so young back then. <laughs> Um, extra, extra, read all about it. It was an awesome working with you on the newspaper this year. See you in the fun pages, Brian. I'm the first to crack, to sign your crack. Of course, every, every year, there is always a Jason that has to sign your crack. Always. I'm pretty sure I have like three of those in each yearbook I had. It's okay, we're all aging. It's it's part of life. It's okay, Cynic. <laughs> um see I'm a ninety two baby, so still quite young there. My bestie wants to make sure you didn't miss uh this message. Now anybody else who signs this knows I'm your bestie and not them. Let's have a great summer this summer. Movie nights every night. Grant scene. Okay. Back. Were you not going to pack that? What else do I need to pack, ma'am? Probably stuff in the dresser. Is that a Tamagotchi? I used to love these things. Dead eye pet. That happened a lot. I think I killed mine like five times. <laughs> oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. Well, he's dead. Some friendship bracelets. Got some DVDs. Uh, six strangers are invited to a mystery mansion for dinner, but when they host, when their host turns up dead. Anyone and everyone becomes a suspect. What was the first one? Tim Curry is the star of this one. Tim Curry. Not Tom Cruise. Tim Curry. And not Steph Curry either. Wait, what was the first one? I forgot. Hey Tess, we are doing a movie night at your place. Yes. Oh yes, the good old days of passing notes and you can talk in class. You still get in trouble for passing notes anyways. Good times. What movie are, are you bringing from work? I could probably make this larger, yes. <laughs> what movie are you bringing from work? Is it a comedy? Double feature night? Mm -hmm. I'll give you one clue as to which movie they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do that to me. You have your clue. Okay. Wheel. What was the other movie, though? 
A rich and gorgeous high school student tries to transfer a new pupil into the must, most popular girl at... Oh, it's like um, pretty much every single movie back in those days. <laughs> That's like a Disney movie. Uh, she, she comes popular. What's that one with Anne Hathaway I'm thinking of specifically? There's also that, Clueless, yeah, that, that's also the biggest one I can think of, too. Uh, there's another one that's just like that, too, with Anne Hathaway. Okay, I don't know what she wants for her room. She has a... There's not really much else. Can I just take this box? Is that what she wants? Tape it? Nothing? A lot of it's like, you can pick it up. There we go, we have some light background noise. Hopefully it's nothing with words. Search spot. Does she does geo-tracking? Base of the lighthouse. Hunter's point. I'm not even sure what that means, but okay. The hunt for buried... Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of movies that are all pretty much exactly the same back then. American mean to stop people across the countries drinking alcohol in bars in their homes, but what in achieves was creating a blooming industry of illegal blah blah blah. Is there anything that's really interesting in this? My father and I spent many summers vacationing, tracking down the potential spots to oh. So her and her father do a lot of that type of stuff. Okay, got it. This is gonna piss me off. Shut up. Thank you. Mm-hmm. belated birthday sorry for the latest test bear things get away from me oh is this from her dad i'm guessing her and her i mean her parents aren't together from this small room little things that we can pick ah, up nevada home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads cool we gonna take that Next. You can literally look at like pretty much everything. Do we need to return this? Oh, wow, we rented this out pretty much the whole time. Okay. Did it say look closer? Oops. Yeah. Oh, I just realized it said pack right here. Did not see that button the whole time. Okay. Let's just, uh, you know, just uh, finally understand how we pack things. This brain just didn't notice. Do we take this? I'm gonna pack you. Uh, look at this. I'm gonna pack you. Perfect. How about these? I put back because we don't own them. Cool. Invoice, web page design, service. She paid $200 for a web page design service and then $200, uh, I mean, $50 to publish it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I probably should pack that. Whoops. Yeah, that's pretty much, if I don't have my glasses on, I literally have to be like, what am I looking at? <laughs> School newspaper. 
anything interesting? Go Cheers basketball starring the season, blah blah blah. Never forget anniversary of 9-11. <laughs> what was that again? Two years ago, okay. So lives, September 20. Oh, when, whether you heard of the news from your parents or that, that morning or saw reports on TV, you're certain to remember the fatal moment of 9-11. Of course, we all know this time. If you don't, you must have been living under a rock. In the last two years, the threat of terrorism has become part of our everyday lives as having the terms of weapons of mass destruction from the moment that the plane hit the World's Trade Center. I remember being sitting in a classroom hearing the news and my aunt lived in New York so I was terrified to make sure that she was not there. I'm glad she didn't have to go to work in the city that day. <laughs> Thousands of people dying, blah blah blah, volunteers to help clean and do things. Okay, cool, we're gonna pack you because some reason we need to pack you. I'm gonna pack this too, mom's favorite mug. We're gonna pack this lovely nail polish. Oh, do we have to pack like literally everything? Oh my god. Really? Okay. This is a bit much. <sighs> Let me open the drawers. our grandma she passed away she was the one in that photo I'm gonna pack this more nail polish I wish you just had like a case filled with like nail polish and you just pick them up and then put them wherever you need it to be that'd be great but no no we're gonna pick up every individual one okay fine fine I see how it is Signatures. I have one of those erasers. Ah, oh, good times. Anything in here? What's this one? Chemistry. Is that a report card? No. Yes. We uh, suck at geometry, but I mean, like, I know I sucked at it. I don't know how many people actually were really good at that. Math was not my favorite when I got into grade 10. <laughs> I love math up until then. Okay, we're going to pack this one. She's really great at pretty much everything else. Yeah, I think they just really wanted you to remember what time period that this game took place in. We're gonna pack this. We need to read it. Just gonna take that. Just gonna take those two. Cool. Probably pack this. It's cleaning supplies. Bag. Poster. All night movie marathon. Ah, those are great times doing movie marathons. Pack this and pack you. Pack you, I guess. And then pack a you. All right. Are we done? Oh, pick up Mr. Hippo. We're gonna pack you. The rad hippo. Anything else? Well, these things. What are these? Oh yeah, my birthday card. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pack this guy here. What is this? I legit have this <laughs> in my drawer next to me. Pack that. Wait. Do you want a sip? Just because we're doing so much work. Okay, cool. Is that everything? That looks like everything. Uh -huh. 
Perfect. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh, no. This? <gasps> ah! <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. Aunt August. Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. <gasps> Lady. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got she a tried. little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about. The estate sale was weird. Having all those people in the house, peeking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? No, Mom. I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Uh, do you guys lose just... the house? Take a minute and look around and see what's left. I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> it's cute! It's amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. What do you mean? It's great! Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, yeah! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know! Her voice acting is fantastic. Uh, oh my god! It's very realistic to a teenager. But yeah, it's like a comic book. It's really cool. I like the idea of combining it with like a realistic style. Mom wants me to pack up my room, blah blah blah. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what is left until now. See, 80s, I don't really know all that much, but I had like a snowsuit that was pretty much exactly like her jacket, but mine was more louder, obnoxious colors. It'd be like me and my brother outside wearing these like neon 80s looking snowsuits. <laughs> like, you could not miss us. I don't know what she's talking about. This is a great painting. It's beautiful. Like, look at those beady eyes just staring at you into your soul. <laughs> oh, okay. It has like one of those doors. I know, the dog's so cute. I don't know why she doesn't like it. Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... <laughs> I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wow wasn't such a good idea. Three mortgages. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard one. Three mortgages. Ooh. I mean, I've heard people do two, but like, dang, three? God dang. <laughs> Shop, nothing. Okay, cool. Let's get out of this basement. It's so bright. 
Well, we really are like packing up everything. Is there fun paintings, pictures? I did not mean to open up the freezer. I saw that last second. I just wanted to look at the picture. Yeah, that. We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. Understandable. <laughs> Glad I had you there. Oh, I don't have to hold it. <laughs> Glad I had you there to surprise my baking skills. Um... I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. Maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Yes. Definitely. Wedding invitation. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Dorothy Jane Haberman and Nathan Daniel invites you to share the joy of their wedding celebrating on Saturday, the 9th of June, 2002, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Congratulations to these random people that we don't know. Wow, I'm just taking in this wallpaper. Huh, that, that's, that's something. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> good luck to whoever owns that. They're gonna have fun remodeling. It's hmm. an interesting design. Okay. They sure love their wood in this house. Wood framing. Kind of reminds me of my grandmother's house. Hey, Mom! Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Hmm. I think her style is cute. She's like wearing like a kimono on top and then like nice loose fitted clothing on the bottom, underneath. This would be really nice if it didn't have this like framing thing at the top. That's the only part I have, my only gripe. I like this though, the exposed beams like this type. This is a cool workspace. I would have this in my house <laughs> if I had a house. Is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made? Yeah. Mm. After her fine motor skills started to go. It's so sad. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I think the grandmother had dementia, if I remember correctly, if I read it correctly. And when I was purchasing the game, they were talking about it. And I'm pretty sure they said that she had dementia. Oh. This one's nice. I like this one. Oh, good. Some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. Keep it. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Hmm. Like the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Oh, wow. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just did she have a so sneaky link? <laughs> vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. Yeah, no, not that I know of. Grandma totally had a sneaky link. She just didn't tell you. Um, I think that was everything in this area.
the hell is that? Oh, hey. It's August. Great. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Tell him. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Wow. Any idea where it could be? That's it all she wanted. It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. And August called mom looking for some book that's important to her. I love that she called just for this one book and never decided to even help us with any of this moving stuff. You know, that would be helpful, you know, just helping us move on from this mess. But cool, it's fine. Probably upstairs somewhere. Close. Yeah, Grandma was like, yeah, you don't know about all my sneaky links. You won't know about any of them. I have more than one man. I have more than one side piece. Um, let me... I'm kind of just curious and just looking at what her life looked like. So they raised that. Yep. Signs of old age. That vacuum screams old age. <laughs> oh, the wheelchair. That is no when you know it's going to be not the greatest of times when you see the wheelchair comes out. Oh, somebody bought grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He oh, said wow. he was an advice columnist too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a nice. lot of money? Well, it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Yeah. Can I see the note? Sure. I want to know this price tag. Opal, your mother has always been an inspiration, not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years to be able to write here she did. Well, she did. Well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Okay, well. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. Glad you approve. Sold. I didn't notice that sold sticker there. I really want to know how much they sold it for. This looks like a pretty decent desk, especially if it's real wood. I'm just saying, you can make some good coin off that. A farewell for Millie. Our dear readers. Oh, this is like a, a thing to her. An homage, I think. Is that the word? Uh, a few people lucky enough to say that they love their job, enjoy the, yeah, it's just like in like a little momentum to her. Oops, uh, yeah. Wanna know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. What do you mean by that? Well, I did. You did? We go with were you nervous that's cool hmm that's cool. that's cool well the circumstances weren't cool oh well, of course no but, but it was actually really hard i needed a lot of help from our editor but i got it done 
I'm sure all her readers appreciated it. Yeah. Nice job, nice job. Okay, we are looking for a... What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm assuming when we were a child, we went into this closet. Or we'll get the story I now. I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting Grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. <laughs> We'd come to visit and I'd hunker down in here for hours. If some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here, and I'd hear Grandma out there in her room, typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know. And I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just liked the feeling of knowing she was out there. I have only slipped away into the next room, somewhere very near, just around the corner. Hmm. The poem you read at Grandma's funeral. Mm hmm That's a nice piece. I feel like this is going to get very emotional very quickly. A reflection looks a little off, but whatever. Um, oh, this is the room that we just came out of. Uh... Her room. Hey, like... Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Sorry to hear that your mother is doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. Who is this from? I know this is sore. This is a sore spot, so the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish that you've let me help with your mother's medication, uh, medicine bill. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help. I feel like this is from the aunt, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that the money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just a situation we're in. If, you, if you're stressed about everything uh, you have to do, you can always send Tess down. Yeah, it's from the aunt here for the weekend. I love having her around. Call me if there's any news about mom. I kind of have like an aunt in the same kind of situation right now where her mom's not doing so well and we're trying to get her to go visit her, but she, I feel like she's making every excuse under the sun not to go. <laughs> I am the very model of a modern major general. I la 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 da 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 was not expecting that. Okay. It's a musical. What's this? Oh, it's a book whole thing to pull down the hatch to the uh, attic. Oh, uh, yes, Could yes. August book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. Possibly. Alright. We can go up there, but... You go first. <laughs> you afraid? I found a weird hook pull thing. What the heck do you call this? What the heck do you call this thing anyways? A poking stick. No, I'm kidding. Uh... <laughs> uh I should be able to use that to pull down the steps for the attic. Where? I didn't even see where the hatch thingy. Oh, here. Got it. Okay, come on up! Yay. <coughs> Damn. Must be musty. Dusty. No. Musty and dusty. Where's that book? Wow. I feel like her attic's actually quite organized. Like, nice wooden table. I had this exact table at my parents' house. Hmm, beautiful. Creepy okay, little well, doll. Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Right? <laughs> Good point. Like, 
why would you not want them up here? They're kind of creepy. <laughs> I feel like this is like a staple for every household. Why do we all have these chairs? I legit have these chairs at my parents' house. <laughs> See, none of the current houses I lived in had an attic, but maybe I think my grandmother's house did and the first house, like my parents' house has an attic too, but I don't, we don't use it like that. Whoa. Wedding dress. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day too. Oh, cute. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. I think uh, I want something more modern. Uh, 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 I'm going to I think go I'd this. want something more modern. But, well, just look. It's still in such good condition. That's great. It'd be handed down from your grandmother to I me. I can to still you. modify it. Okay, but I'm not going to wear it just because it would be something grandma would have wanted, something you wouldn't want me to do, upholding that kind of tradition. I'm not going to wear it. Something you want me to do? Oh, that's not it. You know it isn't. Don't be silly. I would just think you would want to. But I, mean, I just said I don't. <laughs> you don't know you'll feel that way when the time comes. You might change your mind. Oh, stop trying to... You don't know what I want better than I do. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you don't know how you'll feel. I know how I feel. If I wanted to consider wearing it for my theoretical wedding, I'd say I did. But I don't. I want my no, own I was gonna start dress. A war here. If I even have a wedding, okay? I know better than you. <sighs> now she's hitting those teen years I mean, hard. But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? I did not expect her to have a full out argument over a dress. See, if I was her, I would still use the dress, just not in the original style. I agree with having it be more modern. You can tailor it to make it look more like something that you'd want, not have it look ancient. Because <laughs> the style changes per year, so uh, it's not that surprising that she would want something more modern. See, there's a thing with when you buy houses from like older people and you keep their furniture, I'm always like weary of it because then it's like, what if there's something that they're like, oh man, I really am attached to it and I'm going to keep coming back to you and visit you all the time just to see that one thing. Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. How say? What do you mean? Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <laughs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Oh, bowling God. Bowling shirts? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts <laughs> around in spite of them being obviously not cool. No, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's kind of funny. So I'm not seeing this book here. Yeah, it sounded like the mom was more like, this is what you need to do. Instead of, this is what I would hope you'd really like, but it's up to you. Remove? Oh, What's under maybe. Here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. I mean, everything uh, in there is old, but... Uh, 
<gasps> Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. It's a secret door. There's something. Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! Pay attention. What's in there? Okay, forget about August book we found a whole weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic did grandma helen hide it here uh why and answers may lie within um i always forget that button is like the tab hey mom ah oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house your family had a summer house well it was more of a cottage i guess we spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, yes. I haven't been there since <laughs> I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. Oh. I think there were just too many memories there. Great oh new God. ones. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. In our backyard, you mean? Mm -hmm. Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. I mean... Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. <laughs> sure. Dogs definitely do that, but, you know, we're just gonna let that slide. What else do we have? Some postcards. Uh, <clears throat> we'll be together soon. I love you and you are going to love our new life together. Free and happy. Helen. Uh, flip. Dinosaurs. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and grandma had something pretty intense going on was grandma helen a hoe no i'm kidding <laughs> sorry in some kind of secret relationship told you she had a sneaky link um let's just go with the first in one some kind of secret relationship no not the helen i knew you just didn't know that her whole, her whole like Grandma, behavior. Grandma, what were you up to? Okay, let's do the. Hey, mom! What else? What else do we have? Grandma's diary. Should we? Yes. Oh, I don't think we should really. Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. Sure, because <laughs> that's how that works. Come on, just a peek. I don't know why there was no audio for that one, but that was weird. Open. Wait, what? Why does this just start randomly in the middle of the sentence? Aren't any help. They think that they are being good neighbors, but if anyone should know where the path of good intentions lie, it's these church ladies. Gotta love those church ladies. The children carry out the best they can. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual. Also, as if it were uh, any normal summer, August doesn't worry me a bit. She became caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her. But there is so much I can't say. Hmm. Uh, it is becoming a challenge keeping my uh, correspondence with this person concealed. The only matter of time till we're together again in person. But to hold it all inside and not tell a soul? It's been too much. But he knows that I know soon enough the waiting will be over and this will all be the real the rear view. Postcard, Helen, space was written, message, forgot, forget the past, Leo's dead, all that matters now is our future together. Yeah, she totally did have her side piece. Yeah, 
And he even gave her a key to the apartment. No, I'm kidding. I have what no idea what this was. So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is a And what is new this key, key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. Okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. Road trip. To find out who this mysterious man was, maybe we'll find the... Yeah, let's to just To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I do. I don't know, I'm nosy. I, we still have so much to do around here. Ah, that could wait. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. Excuses, excuses. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? She well, has a point. You do want to know, don't you? I can of course see she it, does. Mom. I can see it in your face. <laughs> You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To Yay. tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Whatever helps you get there. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. Perfect. I really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? Ah, uh, it's fine. When we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. Perfect. Where's her father? Like, we're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what the deals with mom's si grandma's side piece. Um, <laughs> who knows what we might find? It's been a while before we'll get there, though. Yay! Yeah. Probably too busy with his, like, not really bowling, but trying to look cool for the bowling. Oh god, this is like map quest all over again. I hated this. This is so annoying. Oh my god, this is just brings back PTSD. <laughs> These were not fun times. My parents used to be, like, arguing in the car, like, you missed the turn! How dare- <laughs> It was so annoying. I feel like we all have our own memories of like a map quest looking thing. Well, when did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15, your age. Oh, so she's 15. I'm 16. Okay, whatever. I meant about your age. <laughs> So a long time ago. So a super long time ago. So a super long time ago. <laughs> wow. Like an no ancient one's been there since like times. the nineteenth century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Did you ever meet Galileo? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. How old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It it's a rough estimate. <laughs> it's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s. I think the summer of 68. Wasn't there something 19, else that was important? 68. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Um, so why did you stop going? So why did you stop going? 
Oh, um, yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Mm. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. <laughs> so you're saying your father is lazy? Just a bit. No, Dad's a hardworking. No, Dad's a hard worker. Me. <laughs> Okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine. Those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew... He would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's got to be falling apart. <laughs> so you still use the, the print-off, uh, Cynic? I cannot stand that. That was used to be, like, my worst nightmare going to New York and traveling and having my parents being like, okay, look at the map. I never wanted to do that. And what were you talking about? Well, let's see, but I'm kind of and falling apart. Yeah, that's right. That sucks. It could still be in good shape. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, let's be hopeful, optimistic. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, no, not like, like that. You know, like shoe elves. Yes, that makes sense. Shoe elves. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I mean, it, shoe it'd be elves nice if it, it were magically still in good shape. Magically, considering still. we need a new place to live. To live in, Tess. I, I'm sorry. It's you couldn't live there, and not not year round. Why not? It's not heated. Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Uh, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Fine. Then where are we going to live? Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Because it feels like we're about to be living in the car. We can <laughs> find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Ooh. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? It sounds like that summer home might actually be a better option. It's okay, I'll see you in a bit. We'll still be on here. Probably gonna play this until it's done. When are you gonna give up the theater? We need money. We need money. Believe me, Tess. I know. So God, weird. Here. Excuse me? Ooh. He, he could help. Pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. He struck a nail. He, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west. For, for work. work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. Right? She could he told get a sugar daddy. Story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him. Like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. Mm -hmm, I didn't mm -hmm. plan for any of this. I mean, no you one can idealize really plan for your that. father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Ooh, it's gonna be a very long car ride, isn't it? I'm 
pretty sure I heard my phone buzzing from the glove compartment. Oh, beautiful. Look at that beauty right there. Look at that beauty right there. And the texting, uh, you press like the numbers multiple times just to get the certain level you, you want. <laughs> hey, Tessa Bear, just thinking of you. Next. Easy to forget something. Oh, about weekend. I'm so bad with short forms. I apologize in advance. Uh, every day is a work day for me. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. Okay, how's work going? How's work going? Making money. Unlike mom right now. That's okay. It will all work out in the, in the long run. Uh, would you be able to send some money back to help mom and me? I don't know if mom told you, but we are moving. Oh, oh my god, was there options and I just never looked at any of the options? Oh, whoops. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> I didn't notice. I'm just realizing that the little things on the side there was options. Okay, uh, I think we're going to eat hard for mom to pay rent for the new place. Well, stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I love to, I love to, kid. But right now, my liquid assets are tied up in renovations at work. If you send enough back to, that could help you with the damage. Um... I have no idea what that is, because I'm horrible with short forms. I'm sinking my business. Uh, out here, you know, I should. I, I would. But your mom always been the smart one uh, to figure out these situations. Don't worry. You understand, right, pumpkin? Yeah, yeah, no. Did you tell your mom that you bought tickets? Yeah, my first cell phone looked pretty much exactly like this, but I forget what what company it was. Probably Motorola or something like that. What was the one that looked exactly like this? What was the name of that company? Not yet. Me and my mom are actually on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer home. Can you believe it? Wow, you need to tell her. Wow, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And you know she will freak out. Okay, okay, I promise I will ace up. I know you will. Love you. Actually, have to get back to it now. Treat your mom nicely, okay? See, I did not notice that these were options. Love you too. See you soon. Bye. Are you sending text messages to someone? Don't worry about it. It's all good. No. No. Well, then what are you doing? Looking at how to type. <laughs> I'm seeing if I want to change my ringtone. A lot of typing for a ringtone. Yeah. Who are you texting with? a lot of with? options. Uh, Francine. Yeah. Really? What? Yes. Yes, Mom. I text my friend. We text. For some reason, I feel suspicious. Why? You have a certain way about you when you're texting your father. Oh, God. <gasps> That's spooky, Mom. You weren't even looking at me. You never can tell when Mother's watching. Ugh. Brother's always no, watching. No, you just have this hunched kind of way, like you're trying to hide something. Okay, fine. It was Dad. <laughs> hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Oh my god. Or dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to. Like I said, long car ride. Long car ride. Are we there yet? Like seriously, this is super awkward. Is this the place? Ooh. 
She has seen better days. Mom! My God. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. In one piece. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well preserved. Yeah, it's pretty decent it's, for no one has touched it in quite well, some time. Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Dusty? Run down? Falling apart? Falling apart? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. Okay. This isn't exactly what I was picturing when mom said that they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. There's probably a lot of cool old stuff inside when... Um, oopsies, I did not mean to... Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> probably a lot of cool stuff inside from when mom was a teenager and hopefully some clues to the identifying uh, grandma's sneaky link, basically. Yeah, weathered. It, it's it's uh. You could say that it's uh, it's it's weathered. <laughs> Run down, all the above. Probably like a lot of water damage inside. The fact that there's like forks and stuff outside is pretty impressive. Surprise this is not like filled with just weeds, but did you do these with grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Welcome back. Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. Oh. You can't just take them. Yes, Aww. yes we can. Well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. She oh. seems oversensitive instead. Life happened, I guess. Yeah, you were right, right in time to see this beautiful house reveal. We found uh, the summer home. It's quite gorgeous. It's, um, I'm surprised it's still standing. Surprise is <laughs> an understatement. Anyways, I kind of want to like look around the house before I go inside because I'm nosy and It looks like the roof might just collapse on you if you go outside or inside. There's a dog house. Maybe they had a dog here at one point. You can have a dog, a horse. Nothing, we're not gonna say that. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. <laughs> uh-huh. Bigfoot too, I hear. Yeah. Do you yeah, think he Bigfoot. found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Ugh. I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. Mm -hmm, it's 2003, mm -hmm. Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Love it, love it. Okay, I guess there's not much around here. It's locked. I think, yeah. Aunt August is probably the older sister. This What's in here? Opens. That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Ooh, but I would like to know what's in her room. We can't get in from August's room from the outside. Maybe there's another way in. Is this, uh... 
Trailer Is this home? a trailer home? Kind of. It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can okay. take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, uh -huh. like towed by a big truck. Mm -hmm. Go on. A mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? <laughs> well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. I was like, what's the difference? You're saying the exact same thing. <laughs> wow. Retro. When was this? Ah, 15 cents. Oh. Beautiful times. That is no longer like that. Ooh, rose gates. Family garden. Oh, wow. That is... Looks disgusting, first of all, right now, but... <laughs> that's different. They were hunters. These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Yeah, taxidermy was helping. Beautiful when it was new. I meant when they were alive. Right. I think hunting is really rude. Like, leave the poor animals alone. I mean, if you're gonna you eat know, it. People have been hunting animals since we lived in caves. Right. Before there were supermarkets. Or shotguns. Hunt like a caveman, and maybe I'll give you a pass. <laughs> Did Grandpa okay. shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Oh, you were a good shot? Mom! That's... That's kind of awesome. I mean, as noted, hunting in general is rude and unnecessary. But still kind of badass. I wanted her to appreciate her mom You were more. my age when you shot it? Younger. Oh, wow. Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. That would have been me. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. Uh, I so guess we wouldn't be heading back fired then. fired and missed. Yep, I would have done off, that. And August cried all the way home. Sounds like me. That was August's first and last hunting trip. Yep, that would have been me. My father didn't have much patience for that kind of... Uh, he had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. I would have been the one bawling the whole damn time. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do it. Man, I saw a squirrel on the side of the road and it looked like it was like beckoning me to help it. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Called my mom. She was like, why don't you put it out of its misery? I'm like, I can't do that. Are you crazy? So instead I left it, which is probably just as bad. <laughs> But I couldn't do it. Oh, this is what he was talking about. That's what the father had killed. Wait, what? There we go. Pamphlet. Six published. File editor. This is just like the church announcements. Yeah, I wanted to, but I was, I couldn't. It was too hard. <laughs> I don't even think it was like injured. I feel like it was just really hot and thirsty, to be honest. It looked like it was fine. It just looked like it wanted someone to bring it some water. Wedding, 
flower, floral offering, offering which grace alters the days and giving the glory of the God, blah, blah, blah. Sunday school, to do these on our Sunday schools. The first meeting of the Sunday school will be held on Monday. First meeting of the Sunday school will be held on Monday. Not Sunday, but Monday. Okay. Important God will call you. Blah, 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 blah. Not important to me. You drew this one. Nightshade? It was because the plant? it can only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Her Did it have to be a friend? freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about <laughs> you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate. Oh, so she's age. the oldest. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Yeah, it's easier said than done. say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... It's not what you I think. I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. <laughs> There he is, Nightshade, just hiding behind a tree. Wait, what? Uh, we found a mangled moose that had been hit by a vehicle. My grandfather called the authorities and they said it would take them 30 minutes for them to get there. Yeah. See, like that situation, I totally get it. I would just have to pass it over to someone else to do it, though. Like, it's not going to be me. <laughs> but yeah, for sure, definitely, for situations like that, definitely should put the animal out of its misery. Boiler room? Looks like they just up and left while they were just, I guess because it was a summer home, they assumed that they were going to come back. If there's food in this, this is going to be disgusting. Okay. This pot is pretty, though. I take that if it's clean. Nothing in the fridge. There's a key. Ooh, a little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Oh, thanks. Maybe a desk drawer. That makes sense. Um, and we found a little tiny key. I wonder where it unlocks. Darling, who is this from? I'm nosy. I really want to know before I even start reading it. I know I'm running from something, but I have never felt so free. I just crossed the border, and I am writing you from the desk in a room at the motel that is hidden off a little side road far from the main uh, throwaway. There is more driving to do before I find us a little place to set aside, settle down. Uh, but before long, I have returned, uh, well, I will have a return address for you to write back. So don't miss me too much. Is this? Hmm. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? Bye, thanks for joining. The mob, the cat, the cops. The cops? For what? Murder. Tax evasion. Stealing? Who knows? Stealing? Grandma's heart? 
<laughs> okay, Tess. Okay, let's put that back. Invitation, you are invited. Um, hmm. So a drawer. Not, oh, okay, I was like, we are not able to get over here. Another pamphlet. What's a fallout and how can we be safe? Fallout is nothing more than a particular uh, particles of matter in the air made of radioactive by nuclear and thermal nuclear explosions. We are atomic bomb, blah, blah, blah. They help form mushroom clouds. Oh, like a, a bunker? Is that what they're talking about? Like finding to create something like that? Don't get discouraged. Don't panic for the simple rules. Prepare a shelter area in your home or backyard where you live in a big city or whether you live in a big city or in the country. Yeah. Basically, they're trying to get you to, I guess, when was this? When was the Cold War? Civil defense is da 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 da. If you think you can have a serious fallout area, remove your outer clothing and wash the exposed parts of the body thoroughly. To sum it up, Americans can are hard to what? Americans are hard to scare. Of course, we are worried about the forces science have unlocked. We could not be intelligent human beings uh, beginning otherwise but the problem can be solved there's a lot of like war reference and stuff like that they must have had a very interesting and sad life alright so we got the drawer darling mystery man I've been driving up and down the highway and by byways looking for a perfect spot somewhere scheduled where no one would think to look with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of space I almost had peace of mind <laughs> and now you always light I know you always like places near the water it sounds great I've been finding I will find something soon just keep buying your time and don't let that on Ohio hmm aha interesting We're really gonna run away together huh he thought so anyway whoever he was why do you think grandma decided not to run off with him because well, she had a whole family to her senses she could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after father died and then when the time came she thought better of it maybe or or maybe he thought better than of it. maybe something messed up that happened maybe something super messed up happened <laughs> like what that teddy bear in the background um okay he was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, all the way to the end of the line, man. And mm -hmm. the hitchhiker's mm -hmm. just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge, rusty Bowie knife. It's okay. actually pronounced Bowie. What? No, it's like the last name, like David Bowie. <laughs> Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. I would not know. Okay, well, anyway, maybe this guy got killed by a crazy hitchhiker. That's all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. That would be super messed up. I think she is just like her grandmother and could be a great writer. I was just seeing this the whole entire time. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt pink. won that for me at the fair. 
Kurt? We, well, we met at the drive-in diner. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I, well, was she he was a teenager. Cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It, well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. Mm. It was pretty, uh, cool on his motorcycle. motorcycle. <laughs> he was very romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, God. Oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or... Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. Oh, but you remember those good wow. times. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. She remember those good times, though. Real quick. That was a shotgun? You're not gonna talk about that? Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water, water damage, damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Yeah. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! Uh, God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? <laughs> We're not risking it. Uh, Mom, you're new fit. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Oh, Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Because we're going to go in there. Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. <laughs> and also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. <laughs> we, Mom, you and like I. a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. <laughs> She has quite the imagination. A freaking water heater fell through the wall. I can't get around it, but there's a weird hatch in the floor. Uh, maybe I can get under the house and climb up through there to access the crawl space around back. Okay, um, how do we get in here again? Right. Let's go by the big tree this time. Maybe there was something. Oh yeah, we did see the plants. It's not really much over here. I feel like the crawl space probably would be uh, hidden by all this crap that's on the ground. Oh, oh, there it is. So this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. <laughs> so. This is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? <laughs> Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Oh, wow. shots fired. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. Just keep dragging her. Mmm, <laughs> lovely. Love this for me. Maybe if I was 15, I might have been intrigued. I guess because of the storyline of what she's finding out is probably why she's super in into this. Uh, this kind of reminds me of... Um, uh, I can't remember the... Something strange, something is strange. I can't remember what the name of it, but there was a scene in the game where they had to climb like this. Wait, what's this? What did you find? Ooh, a postcard. This is good. Mom's gotta see this. Yeah, this is why I wouldn't want to go underneath there. Like the spiders, the, the mice, and what other 
Hell, it could have like a whole skunk family living underneath there. I would not want to be underneath there. Uh, this space for writing messages. Okay, I'm writing for... I'm writing you from our new home right now on the water. I was looking and looking, and I realized there's no better home for us than the one we could just pull up an anchor and... Oh, are we on a boat? And splash it away when you need to. Yes, it sounds like a boat. So I bought us a boathouse. A houseboat. The boathouse sounds better. A houseboat. I know what they mean, though. I think they're two different things. Um, it's really something else. Uh, bought it from an older fella who kept it in perfect condition and was just done having to maintain it in the annual years. Um, the rumor has it that they are going to dam this, ran uh, this river up, but that a long, that's a long time coming, if it happens anyways. Just imagine, uh, I don't know, where the hell I read that, just now to get to you and those kids moving up here. I hope it's been a good summer right back discreetly, and I'll let's make plans to for a big move. I mean, this guy had a lot of hopes to think that she was just going to pack up her life and her kids to go live with this person that they don't even know because you keep telling her to be very discreet about their relationship. So I, I don't know how he saw this was going to work out. Like, I'm really confused. Sometimes I've been living... Uh, sometimes I've listened... I learned some, since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all our worries behind. I mean, that's one way to put it. Oh, wow. It is a pretty, pretty boat. I will definitely take. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Interesting. Hey, Mom. I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well... Like every other like lake. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding yeah. area. It's near... Some trees. trees. Maybe we can look for some of those. Place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. Super easy to determine. Um, are we in this? Wow, her Go room. mechanics! Oh, oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. Oh. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, Interesting. Well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting. Oh man, you're gonna love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when oh, Lucy and I no broke sound. into the art building after hours. <gasps> I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you you're going. going. I can make my own choices. Oh God, what kind of go, choice yeah. is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Oh god, no, she has the Ouija oh my board. God, Aunt August. I have so many questions. Talking board. Uh, 
you can't use it. There's nothing, but there is stuff in this one. Paint set. Probably the cover for that. Ooh. Nope. Wanted this. Dear August, love mom. You were upset after what happened today and that's all right. You need time to yourself instead of talking to me and that's all right too. But ups but upset as you are, you need to remember boys only tease girls because they like them. That used to be a very common thing back then and probably still now. Not in adult years, but as kids, yes. Or because they're different. You can't control the you can't control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behaviors or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. I don't know if I agree with this advice. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How mm. could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, People maybe change. if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. People change, man. Maybe that's how she saw it back then. Because that's how she was taught to behave back then. What is this? Treasure? I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. Mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. chronographic prodigy. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. It Maybe she was like going to come back capsule. for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. So it's always exciting. I found a map buried. I have a map with buried treasure in August's room. Could it be a uh, forbidden bootlegger's gold? Probably not. But just might be something cool. The X marks the spot near the doghouse. Yeah, you should put like a little streak of gray, Frank. It could be just very tasteful for the, oh, the coming of age. Wait. As we're all getting old, get older. These. Michigan State Fair. Um, 25 cents admission fee. Oh, great times back then. We'll take these. This looks like it's for a car or something. <gasps> oh, that's the key to my old van out yeah, front. Yeah, I was going to ask August about was that. always stealing the keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. Well, well. Look who's going to be messing with your stuff now. <laughs> I found the keys to my mom's old van. It may not be running anymore, but I bet it's not much. It must be a bunch of cooler hippie stuff inside. Probably. Oh, is this the letter or whatever thingy that they were talking about? The mean voice by. Oh, okay. So she also. It's like a family trait. They all write slowly. In one point of their life, they all write. One day, August rode her bike to town because of her son, of how sunny it is. Um, because it was sunny by her friend Nightshade. Oh yeah, the invisible friend uh, had to follow behind under the tree because he lives in the shadows and shadows cannot go in the sun. August laughed at Nightshade running along under the trees as she was an as and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie. They made her feel safe, but 
it didn't make her feel safe from probably the mean boys. Okay, back. Flip. Why can't you just flip in the damn thing? From them, the mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to? And what are you wearing, you stupid? August said, my dad's tie. The mean boy said, your dad's must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked at Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shadows under the tree far away. Then the mean, when the mean boys were, uh, went away, August went under the tree uh, with Nightshade. August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What happened changed? during that? I don't know. Sounds interesting, because it seems like the ant changed in personality shortly after, and now she's kind of a little bitchy. I don't see anything else. Yeah, sea ladies are never attracted to the bad boys. I mean, it seemed like the mom was attracted to the bad boys. You totally missed that well, one. Howdy there. What's your name, buddy? The mom found herself a bad boy. Found a guy who had a motorcycle and um oh oh he has entry to the crawl space. Kurt, about two hours drive. What's this about? Oh. That was the town where Kurt lived. Oh the guy. I was you talking know, we about. were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And mm. that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh. It was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. Oh. He was so distracted by my beauty that he of couldn't course. pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Wow. What a guy. I'll be nice. Aww, that's so romantic. It's like something out it's of a rom-com. kind of cheesy, but you know, whatever. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, He's big no. into local you. He told me later that he actually been at the play on a date with someone else. Wow. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow, wow, Dad. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Kinda. Kinda. Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Wait, are, are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just, uh, hmm. you know, it's a sleazy move. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wow, what a bathroom. Very pink. Why did these old houses really like pink bathrooms? Summer peach conditioner. Greasy whips. Newspaper clippings. Precious stone. 
I forgot to read it. I forgot that sometimes I played a game earlier before that like it auto reads things, so I automatically assume it. it's going to read it, and then I remembered. Whoops. This was to you. Subtle, right? I'll read it after. My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Wow, no Now wonder. I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. Yeah. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? <laughs> I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. Mm, pizza <laughs> yeah, rolls. you kids are wild these days. Next time, let's both your tamper simmers down before you try to make it an animal. Your youngest idol you trust easily and you have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flashy than stuff uh, suitable take in advantage of that. Her advice, blah blah blah. Is that her? Is that the mom? Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as Ooh. a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like, like Sonic. Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know? <laughs> you were so cute. You were cute. Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're... Uh, hot mom now. Uh, what? <laughs> just, just deal. Take it. Just take to the, the boys at school. You are my hot mom. You didn't know about this. What? No. Wow. I am not. Oh yeah. No. It's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real so awkward, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? Yeah, she was she was a hot mom. She she was a hot hot teen and she's definitely a hot mom. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think look, we could twist the latch open if I think now I she's interested. Open with a flathead screwdriver. That's right, mom. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um, oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Got it. She's finally interested in finding out all the details that's been hidden around this house. The door to my grandmother Helen's room is broken, but it's going to take more than just that to keep me from snooping. Mom says we might have be able to jimmy the lock, basically, to open up the door with a screwdriver that's kept in her van. It's stuck. Okay, um... How did she... Oh, it was on the... I was like, how did she see the crawl space? Do you remember... Well, did it seem like Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? That's I what mean, I want to know. Um... I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. Hmm. They didn't seem to... Make sense together? Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used Too to... Too different. ...have more in common? Um... Well... When you're together at first, everything about each other is new. We can mm -hmm, cover mm -hmm. up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late? She's speaking facts, but, like, you gotta find a spark somewhere. You gotta keep trying. And if you don't feel like trying, that means you definitely need to move on. Because you have kids? Because you have a kid? 
Well, that can be one factor. So you think you and Dad would have split up a lot sooner if I wasn't around? I, I forgot well, about that. I'm sorry mm. I held everything up, okay? Maybe you would have been happier if, if you hadn't been stuck with Dad like for that. so long. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that, and it's not because of you. There's, there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not it's today. It's so awkward. Then when? <sighs> not today. Well. <laughs> um, is this the back of the house or the front? This is the front. Okay, ooh, uh, do we have the trowel to dig? First of all, can I, oh, maybe I have to go pick that up. Let me go get the shovel. But yeah, this game's pretty cool because it's like, they combined like a comic book style of art. I really wish I could run and a realistic style. Let's go into the van first, I guess. Other side, maybe? We not have the keys. Ooh. That actually startled me. I didn't expect to like zoom in like that. Didn't she say we had the keys for the van? Ah. Oh, Back half. it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp. An acoustic guitar. Stuffy smell. A concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Yes, Don't that's all we're gonna look nosy, in. All right? All right, no guarantees. All right. But look at all this stuff. <laughs> look at all this stuff. You think that we're not gonna go snooping through your stuff? Are wow. you kidding? Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But kind of fair. Dear Opal, you are getting. Are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing to you every week. Things are at the park. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left, so now it's just me, Gordon, and other dorks from Standis. Uh, if I didn't get anything back, I'm just gonna assume that you're too preoccupied with Curtis to write to me. At least one of us ha is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Lori. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. She was born and raised a theater kid. She was a theater kid at heart. And that's why she never wants to let it go. player interesting and this is where she wanted to live hmm. holy shit <laughs> babe the summer has been real out there but I've got to, I've got a split I'm not hip to what The summer's been really out there, but I've got a split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike. Head to Cali. Look me up if you can. Ever get out there. Kurt. We're just gonna take this letter real quick. Shove it in her mom's face, too. So that's why she wanted to go to California. Find anything? Yes, very well, juicy tidbits. I found, um... This. 
You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. Mm -hmm. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. That's why you don't go for the bad boys. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Oh, Mom. Seems like an asshole. Seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. Equivalent to a text. There was a lesson Another I time. should have learned that summer. Did you learn it? You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. I don't think that's the lesson. So you just shouldn't have friends or a relationship? So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean... What do you, you mean, huh? You care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Everyone will Are you leave saying you? Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well... Either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? Okay, it sounds like you really need to clear up. clear things. He always makes it sound like like you wanted him to leave, but he does. I I mean oh, God. I if he's telling you I wanted this, I <sighs> see? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine okay. on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Okay, Mom. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Things are getting a little heated and awkward. Gotta love this mother-daughter duo. Are we using this for again? Oh yeah, the room. There we ah, go. Door. We meet again, but this time, I'm ready for you. Perfect. That was a really long pause on that thing. Hey, good work. Thanks, mom. Why didn't they just add that in the first cutscene? Hold up, I'm just gonna get. Is it here? Where was the shovel? Wasn't there a shovel in one of these drawers? Okay, well, whatever. Time to snoop. Yeah. Astrology book. The Holy Bible. No, we are not reading that. No, thank you. Mm hmm. Nothing of interest. Okay. A little stool. What's this? Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <laughs> a lot. Uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Let's hide behind Ugh, door number it's one. Locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key from Grandma's diary. The little key from Grandma's diary. <gasps> right. Or we could always smash it. Hey, it works. What do you know? 
a wedding photo. Oops. My sympathy. Our thoughts are with you. Oh, and the father had passed. Helen, so sorry to hear about you and your your love, I think is what it says. Oh, your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. Okay. You can't just leave me here. I did all those th I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. Wait, what do you mean by that? I have a right? What do you mean by that? Pierre. What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? Yeah. When he says those are his kids. Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? Sounds that way. I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Imagine? Look, look, Mom. Now. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9, Hop 2 Lake, Carndale, Ontario. Wow. Of course, in Ontario. <laughs> we should go check it out. We should go check it out. What? No. Yes. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada Why not? based on some return address from over 30 years ago. The weather's nicer we today. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner. And Mom, Breathe. stop. Okay, just listen. Everything will be okay. You should find out about who your real father is. This is your father, and we're talking about it here. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who well, are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? That's what she wants. But we're gonna okay, listen, force it out of her. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not <laughs> yes. doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. Oh, we I sell this one. This one to agree with you. No, we I want to one. know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. Exactly. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. That's okay. But we might find something. Exactly. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. <laughs> Exactly. Convinced you. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Exactly. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Uh... Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. <gasps> yeah... Maybe it's on the other side of the border. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Wait. Come on, let's get out of here. Were you not gonna try to find that treasure that the- Okay, fine. What the heck, Pierre? Mom's real dad? Scandal. We found an address to some place in Canada. We gotta go check it out. It's time to hit the road. Can I take that with me? Kings, Queens, Royals, Flush. That is so weird to think about. Like, imagine, like, this whole time you had no idea that the person that you call dad is not your actual parent. And for some reason, your mom decided to keep that from you. Pretty sure there was, like, 
You ready to unearth this mystery? There we go. You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Yes. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Time capsule. Is that like fruit roll up or like the bubblegum um, thing roll? Ah, that looks too massive. I don't know what that would be. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I miss you, August. So this is where August buried her feelings. Oh. Mom! <laughs> Come on, it's sad. Silence. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. I think so too. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Maybe might give her some fun memories. Turns out the real treasure was the friend that we made all the way all along. Nightshade, the weird imaginary friend. Um, okay. So off to Canada? <laughs> We're going to my hometown. I'm in Ontario. Yes, I am ready to leave. Okay. Weird. It's interesting that they keep showing this picture of her and her dad. All right, time to order that room service. It's really spinning uh, on that. This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is. I will say this looks like a, a motel. motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. Exactly. The other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. Yeah. I'll be back with something to eat soon. So well, wait, I'm supposed to stay right. in here? That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? burger, please. Um, burger it is. Do your homework. How did I know that's what she wanted me to do? Great. Great. I knew I shouldn't have brought my backpack on this trip. Now mom expects me to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do. Cooped up in a motel room. Sounds like she got text messages, so... Love this channel. So fun. Hope you had a good day. Brush, uh, busy with some work t late tonight, but I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking always, text dad, text Francine. Text Francine, hey Francine, we're surviving the uh, abandoned summer home. The abandoned summer home, was it haunted? Very. Extremely. Extremely. <laughs> oh my god! How many ghosts did you see? Oh, there was like 17 ghosts just hiding in the walls. Nothing but ghosts in place was packed, filled with them. Damn! I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mom react to you telling her about the... Nevada... trip? Shut up. I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna go. And she will let me go. I'm gonna and she will let me go. Just do it now. 
can't she is actually out getting me some food okay I will when she when the timing is right when I don't know so did you find what you were looking for um yes and no we are heading up to Canada tomorrow what yeah we found some stuff about um, who my grandpa might have really been. We're gonna see if we can find out more about him. What? You might be a part- you might be part Canadian? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, one-fourth syrup- maple syrup running through my blood. Mm-hmm, cause that's- that's exactly what all Canadians are made of. <laughs> I'll call and tell you about it. It's like when I was a kid and we went on a cruise one time and people were like, what, you're from Canada? Do you ride a uh, polar bear to school? I'm like, yeah. And I have a little penguin as a pet. We don't have dogs. When we do have dogs, they're just for sleigh rides. We don't actually have them in the house. They just stay outside all the time. Our best friends are polar bears though. <laughs> Um, I'll call you and tell you all about it when we're home. Uh, receptions out here is bad. We're in a little weird little motel for the night. It's pretty cool. It sucks. There's no room service. It sucks. It's old and smells like mildew and there's not even room service. I knew she was going to complain about it. How uncivilized. <laughs> well, have you looked around the motel room? There is something thing new. Never? Things weird in there? I don't know what that name stands for. Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Okay, we'll text our father. Hi, Dad. What's up, Tess Bear? Nothing, just gonna cross the border to Canada. Want to say hi? Yes. What? What for? We found some clues about Grandma and Grandpa, old summer house, and we think there might be more to find on the other if we cross the border. So we're going to check it out. Tess, are you hunting for bootleggers without me? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we're going to see what we find. Can't wait to hear all about it once you're back and to get my cut of the action. It's interesting that the dad also uses like up to date short forms like she does. Because I feel like he probably wouldn't but then again if he actually texts his daughter often enough often enough maybe he would have can't wait to talk to you too I had a question is it about I have a question it's about you and mom I feel a bummer incoming but okay well you always said mom wanted you to leave and that's why you're not living with us anymore. But mom said you mom said you were the one that wanted to leave, so I'm confused. She said that, huh? Well, I'd say it's kind of mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here and I had to take it. I understand why your mom didn't want you come along and that's okay that's why you left home and quit video galaxy and everything it's not the same without you here it's not the same without you here or the store oh I'm sure the store is even better without me who wants their dad as their boss but you made the store so fun the window displays and the Halloween costume contest, movies, quote, trivias, and the new manager is just boring. So, was it 
your big opportunity out there? What was your big opportunity out there? Well, you know, I head out here for a new big venue and I'm in the investment stage. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to be uh, going to pan out. Just want to make sure everything is perfect for when I tell you more. Remember when you were little and you, you worked at the book, uh, you worked on the book you drew me for a week and couldn't let me peek at it till it was all done? I mean, like all kids do that. Like, no peeking! <laughs> I've still got that book right here with me and you didn't want me to see it until I had it all perfect, until you had it all perfect. This is just like that. You still have that? Okay. You still have that? Yeah, I'd never, I'd never part with it. No way, however. I just don't know, just don't want to disappear from you by jumping the gun. You understand, not, don't you, kiddo? Yeah, I can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to go back to it. Got to go back to it. Love you, teddy bear. Love you too. Talk to you later. We'll keep it nice and sweet. Put her phone in the pocket. What do you mean? In our pocket? In the pocket of the bag. Fantine want to hear about the weird stuff in here. I should text her if I find anything interesting. Oh no, we are not doing our homework yet. Let's turn on the TV. Why do they always have a Bible? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, there shouldn't be much of anything in these rooms if it's supposed to be clean. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna break my recording. Boo. That's the most scariest thing there. I knew there was a ghost nearby. Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. It's like the best part when you go to hotels. You steal all the stiff. Um, uh, my towel from the hotel. What? My own towel is named Dr. Softness. Oh no, honey. <laughs> it's soft, it's pretty, it's mine. It's as soft as a bird. Aren't all towels soft? Fine, okay, it look, look, I don't want to use the motel towel. Continue. I mean, they were just hanging there when we got here. Yeah, they're just clean when they hang them for you. Did they? Yes. I don't like not knowing. If you want to, if you, if you want to be worried about motels, I have one word for you. Sheets. Yeah, seriously, that's the more concerning part. Let's be real. The sheets. We're not going to talk about that one? Okay. It's a little Easter egg. Mouthwash. Wow, I've never seen, unless your mom bought that, brought that. That would make more sense. We're gonna talk about the sheets. We're gonna do our homework now. Okay, I guess. Hey, it's burger time. Perfect. Is that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? 
Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you- Chris said hi. August? Guess where I am. On At a Lake motel Kanda. in Poetan. Oh, that's where they are. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? <laughs> Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. Oh, she left? The burger is my bottle and I will defeat it. Mm. Mm, maybe we should do some homework. But I really want... I have vanquished the mighty burger. You can't hear. How upsetting. I just... Do you think... Could Dad is... Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke back in a few... Man. Hello, Teresa. She Hi, told me August. Tess. This is all her, but she was an interesting person. To say the least? My dad. I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never sense. really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. Nightshade. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? Uh, disheveled? It, uh, it was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. Me too. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? Oh, that's what? where she's moving to? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What? What about mom? Can, can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. Oh. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It mm. isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Can you just call me Tess? Love you too, Aunt August. I'll call you Aunt Algie. <laughs> huh. Hey, I've got a... I've got to help my dad with dinner. I have to go for... Have a good drive to Canada. Don't let the moose bite. It's a calculator. Great. Why did we... Oh, I thought she put it in her pocket. Go find my mom and go to bed. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh -huh. so she's talking about the theater stuff? And Todd stuff. needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense. Yep. And it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? 
Yes. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. <laughs> if you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. I think she's more occupied with the thought that you didn't tell her about wanting, not wanting to go to, like, your aunt's house. This drive is so freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with Dad and Francine. Right. Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? I really hope I took it. Chips, cans, cherries, blah blah blah. Car info. Oh no. What? Oh my, my god. Did you leave I it? I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Ugh. We have to go back and get it. Or we have to go back we and get it. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand. It might go... Uh, it might be gone if we don't go back for it. Francine's going to be worried about me. I'm just It might put be that gone one. if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Ugh, Mom, that'd be so annoying. We have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, could... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Damn. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. Get I pulled am over? not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get out. You know, your... I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you, you were lying to me. And I what? was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. Maybe she didn't have she that kind of money. She offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... You plan Money to stay there. might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Yeah, you're you want to stay near the theater. That's probably why. So she doesn't. It's not that she doesn't want to move to Chicago. It's more of that she already has a place that she has made home. She doesn't want to move there. If you and Dad were still together, what do you think he would be right now? Are you uh, disinterested in my business? Why don't you like August? I don't know. There's an error. I can see that there's a weird error going on with streaming. I might turn off the stream and then re start it if this is going to continue to have some problems so uh we can take a break for because we've been streaming for what how long like two, three hours so maybe we can Put a pause and then we can come back to it maybe tomorrow or probably on Sunday. Let's just finish this convo. Hopefully it works for you guys. 
because stream is being weird. Um, let's go with this one. If you and Dad were still together, where do you think we would be right now? I don't know, Tess. Do you think we still would have lost the house? Where are you going with this? You're, you're always trying to make him look bad. But while he was here, we were fine. We were fine? Maybe were he you? wouldn't have had to pursue his dreams somewhere else if you had been more supportive of him. He was always working on stuff. He would know what to do. <sighs> she really does That's idolize her father. what was going on. And don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about dad for once. The divorce, the... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. That's the worst way to yes, tell her. I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going... From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just horrible told time. me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey, feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? Mm. What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's Reasonable just as parenting. proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. So sure, go to Nevada. Ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Ooh. Ooh, awkward. Not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with my mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here in silence until we get this stupid boathouse. What a fun road trip. That was sarcasm. Well, that was awkward. I feel like this game isn't that long, to be honest, though. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Where are Thanks we? Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before right. I change my mind. Agreed. So we're looking at another abandoned boathouse. Well, look, it uh, looks like we finally made it to the boathouse and we saw it in the picture. Most likely owned by the mysterious man, aka Pierre. Whatever we find here, better be worth it. Okay, look, I said I was going to end it, but it doesn't look like there's not much... Like, I feel like we're almost done. Like, we got to the boathouse. We're in Canada. The lake looks like it dried out quite a bit. Larry's shack. Looks like a lot has happened. Like it looks so run down. How does one get down there? 
Really, how does one get down there? It's broken. Okay. Maybe to the side. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Uh, we want to get across to the boat, but it's kind of... But if we try to jump, that gap will break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here that we can use to get across, like a ladder of some sort. This place looks like it used to be really nice. It's unfortunate, like, the water level dropped drastically. How the hell are we supposed to get across? Like the kayak? And the door does open. All dock residents must be removed prior to the schedule of the opening of the river dam. Oh yeah, it was <gasps> a dam. Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Oh my god. <laughs> Please remember that this is a shared facility for all residents who finish off their boats and on this dock you will borrow equipment to clean it or prepare your hatch, um, your catch, hatch, uh, return into the storage base space on the original, this is definitely like a typewriter thing. In an original fashion, if you... Clean your catch and the benches, clean blah 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 blah. You. Hmm. Gross. So we have dirty plates that looks like it's been there for quite some time. Freaked me out. There was like a bug crawling on my arm. <laughs> Little basin, water bottle, some lures, bathroom, nothing fancy, some boots, cooler, another fishing lure, an oar that went through the window. Jackets. Okay. Hear me out. I would take this canoe. Push it over. What else could there be? I honestly don't see anything else that we can use. The ladder. I feel like walking on this would not be that bad. <laughs> I know nature has claimed it back. We're talking about this plywood right here. This plank. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We on need your to go back. Father's home. property. We, what if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? 
or who knows what's even in that boat or I think you're scared the boards are all rotted or or but we're already here and the trailer home mobile home the mobile home was fine I, I just think if we go back now what's the point don't yeah, you want to drove know all the way there to, to find Pierre mm. okay fine you stay here and I'll see what I can find no you can't go in without me don't tell me what I can't do Tess no matter how grown up you think you might be I'm still your mother I you're right I'm sorry I just we've done all of this so far together I just don't want to give that up <sighs> all right we'll do it together but I should go first no I should go no way what if you fall off I could say the same I'm to you later I should go first I'm not gonna let my poor aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe let's <laughs> flip a coin call it heads or tails heads heads I lost damn it in a manner of speaking after you all right here I go careful not very climactic not quite as scary as I thought yeah this thing is pretty sturdy especially See? for just sitting out here for a few decades let's hope we can See? say the same for the rest of the boat the boat looks fine not gonna lie that legit does look fine it looks pretty sturdy like someone tagged it like this part's a little broken but for the most part it looks fine wow Wow. Oh, wow. This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this one. <laughs> you look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Oh, you um, look just like her. Maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Yeah. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Oh my, it has that hot stuff. Okay, what is this? I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A boathouse is a romantic thought. Living right on the water, but don't you susp uh, suppose it might be a bit small for us and two kids, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me from before you made this decision? We are still here wanting to, uh, waiting for the heat to die down while I'm excited to start a new life afresh. I've been beginning to rack up worry. How will you, how will the kids react with all this that already gone through? What do you think, uh, what do you suppose my parents will think and us just disappearing? My poor mother, she's already lost her son-in-law when people come looking for us, are you sure that's there's no other way? A letter from Grandma. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? <laughs> that would be something else. Oh my it God! Wouldn't even exist. Whoa. Exactly. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then? I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. Yeah. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where we were really rich. One where we were really rich? And you could fix up the Andromeda and make every play there amazing? Tess. And we could keep Grandma's house and make it all perfect, like better than it's ever been? There's no way to that reality from here. The other option was kind of very um, upsetting to the mom. Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cool. Tess, don't touch that. <laughs> Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. 
Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. <laughs> it's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean, not what before she meant. that. Yeah. Like, never mind. Yeah. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968. And patterned tights. But really, put that down. You don't want to be holding that, that nudie magazine. Your mom there has a really good point in not wanting you to touch that. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. Ugh, this place looks actually pretty sick. Pierre's office, wherever it is in there, could be blown with the lid open. The whole thing. Of course it's locked, but because there is nothing easy. Nothing is ever easy. Okay. This is a nice place. Oh, those were stairs. That would have been some different life that she would have lived. Living on a boat like this? That's crazy to think about. Okay, are we... yeah. This is also locked? Damn it. There's nothing... I knew there had to be something else. Yeah, that's what I thought. A flare gun. If you need some assistance. Oh, this would have been the girl's bed. Oh, can we open that? Pick up the letter. Please don't go about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This is affects us all. This affects all of us. Uh, you say we'll have everything we could have ever hoped for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have the silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow. Wait, what? You said you would have everything you could have and hoped for, her. but I did not have the one. I, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's life from the drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money it was involved. I hope for things that money doesn't buy. I hope for things that money can't buy. Treasure friendships I've held since I was a little girl. My relationships with my parents and siblings. Satisfaction satisfaction at <laughs> work where I get to help people. My children grow up in loving uh, in a loving company <clears throat> of their grandparents and their friends. And these are the things that you ask me to give up. And for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? Money to spend? On what? What does it all matter if everything else is lost? I mean, she kind of has a you point. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah. Not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Oh my god. Oh no, it's already happening. <laughs> but yeah, like that would have been so unfair for the kids. So if we live here in isolation from anyone else, just have to be with like 
some man they say that is their father that they don't even know. This is a really sick boat, though. Oh, this is how the kitchen ends. Open. Date, credits, cash, travel supplies, uh, groceries, wine, travel supplies, blah, blah. Hmm. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, yeah, most of it was on this boat. Seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Nope. Can you imagine August living here? Definitely not. Maybe then she would have been a famous painter because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. Yes, yeah, sounds beautiful. Hand coffee. Pot of gumbo. And looks pretty clean. Some knives. Robbers hit against the portent. Mm, local state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from this burglary site on Mon on uh, Saturday night. According to the state police, the men broke into the store at around 1:20 a.m. They disarmed the storm safe and took the money before bags before fleeing there was no witnesses there's local blah blah blah, blah blanks blah, 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 police bur until the burglars have been approached it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight apprehended mm. the burglary ring mom grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber <sighs> wow is that Why the pieces that we're gonna have this Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events? Mm, I don't oh, know. come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Oh, God. Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery, it was burglary. What's the difference? Uh, a robbery oh, yeah. is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. <laughs> and why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. Yes, yes. I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? Why not? She had two kids at home, and <laughs> she would have to travel very quite far Seems to like do that. A lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me. Ooh. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, I mean. You know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Yeah, you had no idea who your actual father was. But yeah, I was wondering why that was there. It's kind of interesting to think. Um. He sure liked his whiskey. God, I thought I dropped it for a second. Receipt. Let's see where this is going. Liquor, wine. $50, $70. Wow. That spend is a lot of money on alcohol. A lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Mm -hmm. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. 
Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. <laughs> I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. Nope. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Yeah, I feel like he got really depressed knowing that the person that he wanted to spend his Boy, life with. Really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? No other tobacco is as rich, flavorful, or mild a fogland more. Each leave is hand selected. Wow. They never knew that they could do that with tobacco. Anyways, but yeah, I feel like he was just got really depressed that he knew that he was never going to see his kids, which that must be really hard for him. And then the person that he was in love with was never going to come back to be with him. Why are we coming down here again? We were looking for a key, right? It's a flashlight. Nothing. Open cabinet. Mm. He sure liked his alcohol. I guess he just had a dream that this was all going to pan out the way how he planned it. <coughs> Attention, every. Oh man, that doesn't work. It's probably been sitting there for years. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Room. So we're trying to figure out there is a key somewhere. What's this? Nothing. Um can't open any of these ones. Close that. Lunch pail. Cool. Great. Not of use. Is there anything else in here? Um. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. talk about the presents that are like hidden in here I feel like these are great opportunities to talk about something probably got you both at something for moving out here but yeah I don't know what he was thinking cuz they've never even met you and they're supposed to be like oh their father had died and then you're like oh actually by the way this is your real father that's kind of like really jarring for them to find out Receipt from Pierre. Wow. Exchange from the boathouse. <clears throat> Three thousand dollars for a houseboat? Are you saying that's a lot or a little? These are like nineteen sixty-eight dollars, right? I mean, three thousand dollars then is probably like ten thousand. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Well, that would be a lot to pay for a houseboat like this, but no, it wouldn't be anything like that much. Ten thousand. So how much then? I don't know. Ten thousand dollars. Well, that was my second guess. 
So, what else could you have bought for that much back then? A car? A nice car? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, so this crappy boat for the same amount you could buy, like, hey, a sports crappy. car with? Seems like a lot. But you can live on a houseboat. Exactly. You could live in a sports car, if you don't have a very high standard of living. Yeah. Much higher standard of living on this rotting houseboat. <laughs> Um, cool. Nobody to spy on, though. Yeah. It's kind of like nothing around. Travel. Tank of gas. Damn. Forty grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine mm -hmm. spending six dollars on a steak lunch, or seven dollars for a tank of gas. Right? Oh my Did god! People just drink more back then. <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Seven dollars for a tank of gas. Psh, you'll never see that ever again. Captain Hat. Nothing inside. Sunglasses. Ray-Bans. Old rusted lighter. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Honestly, not sure. Not sure what we are looking for. Uh, there wasn't, like, a key or anything. And I didn't see anything. Like, I highly doubt he would leave something like that of importance in here. Can I go into this building? Um, Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya? Nah. Can we take the knife, though? I wonder how long he lived here. that be? He just seemed to have just sat here and drank his life away. And <laughs> okay, we got this open. The pipe. Didn't notice that the first time. I guess he just hung out with the people who lived also here. I don't need to pick up the bottles. Honestly, oh, there it is. Been sitting there the whole damn time, staring me at the face. Okay. I knew I had missed it. Okay. Perfect. What are we hoping to find? Nothing? All that? There's a, a key I also see. I received your latest letter. This is the final response. You say you did all of this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, was you did it for yourself. 
you were the one who was unsatisfied with our home and our income and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless, uh, illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything about but follow along. I'm not following anymore. You said that these are your kids too. Of course they are, but they're my children as well. And I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up their dress. Um, but I'm getting but I'm getting used to it, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking to myself, to living this new life. I'm regaining my footing and I'm starting to feel okay. Mm. <sighs> so that's it. I like how the options are exactly the same. So I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? Not at all. I don't know. No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy and some money? <sighs> People have done worse for less. Yeah, but... True. Grandma had a pretty good life. Didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. Mm hmm. But she didn't really want to, like, uplift everything. And then just, oh, let me take that key real quick. This could come in handy. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, from the French. Didn't we see some mailboxes up by the gate where we came in? Yeah. I'm running. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like it doesn't seem like she wanted to like lift up her whole life just for some guy and like her kids would have to just start a new life here in the middle of nowhere. Like were you planning on homeschooling them? Like what, were, what was your plan? Didn't sound like you really had one. There we go. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Ah, it's fine. Oh, come on, Mom. It's all... Live a little. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into a person's boat, too. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. It's a little late to be getting squeamish now, don't you think? I suppose <laughs> you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. Yes, yes, make our mama rebel. To whom it may concern. Return to sender, not much such address, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Um, yeah. I was reading this. <laughs> to whom it may concern, I know, I now confess my culprit to the spawn of burglaries. Oh, so he was a part of it, resulted in the th theft of almost one and a half of a million dollars. Wow. I had worked on properties inspected of Green County for over 10 years, and at a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints on my knowledge of, from cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses uh, that carried large amounts of cash overnight. Their relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the process from the robbery in exchange for the information of how they could get evaded detection, how they can evade detection from the store security. As times went on, the story, the stores 
they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no other way to back out an arrangement, out of the arrangements as they had threatened not only my safety but that of my family as well. Hmm, interesting. Seeing no other option, I fled a death cert I forged a basically forged a death certificate um paper from the county's office and left my wife and daughter to cross the border. Oh, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did. I wish they were I wish that forget having asked them to. Interesting. What little of my stolen profit remains, I have destroyed my wife and Helen. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She's innocent. My decision is to involve myself in the scenes of the crime was mine alone. I only ask that you leave my wife and daughter alone. This is my confession. So, I guess her younger sister would technically be her half-sister, maybe? Unless he got her pregnant one last time before So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. No, That's I mean, not what she means. Tore it, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Right. I'm... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. Oh, we never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. Okay, I'm picking up what they're putting down. That was took me a little while. But yeah, okay, that's awkward. Yeah, so the person that you thought had died never actually died this whole entire time. He was actually alive. It's kind of did happen though, didn't it? Yeah, I'm really, really sorry, Mom. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you thought your dad had just died and you had to live with that that really sucks <sighs> i can't believe i i can't believe he just abandoned us all this time he was here huh. I, he gave up his family his children for an old boat and some booze yep. i wish i could have talked to him just one more time and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life, I can't... I can't even imagine. That's a crazy thought to think about, though. I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Wish you could have been there for her. Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us, her whole life. It's quite a heck of a burden. Anything, even when we were all grown up. Maybe, maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. I think it's also just hard to so bring it up after all that it? time had passed. He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and... He never came back. Now he think might actually he could be dead. Still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I, I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Did you not know your Either dad's way, name? He's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find. No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, mom. He pretended to die. But he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't Oh my you. god. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked dad out. 
I mean, well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess, listen, I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me to find out what happened. Just doing my job. <laughs> I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky to have such an incredible, kind... Daughter? Oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry. <laughs> Just such yeah, an amazing, amazing daughter. daughter. I love you, Mom. Aww. I love there you we too, go. Honey. So, uh, are you moving back to. Are we going to move to Chicago? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah. Um, her whole ordeal with her phone. I don't know why I always look at this like as if it's going to help me. Just gonna poke this real quick. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good That's question. question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why <laughs> you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. <laughs> so you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna open up about Dad, it? you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was gonna fix all his problems. Our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was gonna be a professional poker player. Was he any that good? What you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. I guess he actually did. He was kind of good, because I have a friend whose husband was actually in that field where he was approached to do that, but he chose not to. But he was really good, and he would participate in a lot of these competitions. It's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh... Interesting. interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Mm. He's trying. Yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. He wanted to see it through. It. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur it's like matt damon in rounders <laughs> it's not really like rounders i mean he wins a lot in rounders and he's a lot more handsome he must really like poker he likes it but i wouldn't say that's the real reason he left the split came at a really hard time the theater was doing worse and i was spending all my time there then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help mm. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her, to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. Yeah, it's kind of so hard decision. So he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married, said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this, this was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? Mm, no, I get it. No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just... ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Yeah. Kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I mean, it sucks I'm for both sorry parties. for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that... Dad, like, explain everything to me in a way that made sense, and 
that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't... apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. Oh. That I would have married such a ding-dong. <laughs> Professional gambler. Hey, there's I didn't nothing wrong to say with it that. out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. You should go. See I think you, you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. Yeah. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. Mm -hmm. It seems like you, you guys have a great relationship with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. Don't make her I'm don't sure. let her change her mind. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh god, no. And Miss August mac and cheese? Bad chance. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean for Facing what? your fears. Kick ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Yeah, seriously. Or run their own business. And then go to Canada on top of that. Theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Oh, sick. Well, I've seen what you can do. So she's doing great. And you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Thanks. I don't always know what I'm looking at. An that was actually my favorite eye, course. Just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. So rude. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford like grandma and me. It's silly, but but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Exactly. Like seeing. Like seeing. Kurt. I would not put do. Yeah, that's weird. exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to see you as an adult, and not just my baby girl. Mom, you're also you like 15. So cute back then, even cuter than now. Stop. And you had the biggest head. Everyone said <laughs> it. Everyone said that's the baby with the biggest head. Wow. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, of course. And it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect tiny little heads, like golf balls. <laughs> mm. that's perfect. So. What do you think about the whole August thing? I think it's pretty Maybe sick. Yeah. I guess it's a big decision moving to Chicago. Yeah. yeah. That's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? I mean, sounds like a good choice. I mean, what else do you have? Your mom's not really making ends meet right now, it so. It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, exactly. at least we'd have a place to stay. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days I'm worried about everything. But I'm confident too. Confident we can figure it out. Yeah. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just... I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I will say, August's house is pretty nice. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. <laughs> we should call August and tell her about all this. So that's why oh, you were really upset. Hey, August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> But he was also a robber. <laughs> or a burglar, whatever. Whatever we end up doing, 
I'm just glad... I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Well, that was a really nice road trip. Very peaceful. I'm glad they figured it out, because that was an interesting ride. I definitely think they got closer in the end and helped them to get see their differences and settle those aside. But I think there's a lot to learn from this game too. Just how relationships work and everything. Did a great job. It was like three and a half hours. Pretty decent. This game literally came out yesterday, so I was really excited to play it. And I really wanted to know what it was like, so uh, I'm glad I did it. We're just gonna wait through some of these uh, credits. What do you guys think? I thought it was pretty interesting concept of a storyline where these two had to travel he's died for many years and then him. yeah they were supposed to actually release this game earlier but then they decided to wait there's actually another game similar to that that they did the same thing too that they wanted to release this quite some time ago but they still haven't released it so whenever that happens it'll be interesting and maybe I'll stream that one later on but this year I have a few other games that I plan on streaming um, if you haven't seen my video, like Harold's Halibut, the first part of the demo is out. I'm going to edit the second part and post that as well. But that is one game I plan on streaming just because the story seems very interesting and I would like to see how it all plays out. And then there is Copycat. I might stream that one. And then I will definitely play Indica, because that's an option. I'm going to probably turn on this music for you. But overall, it was a pretty interesting game. Um, definitely love that there's the voice acting and the stylistic choice of having the characters be like a comic book style and then having a very realistic scenery it gave it an interesting touch to the game um, totally beneficial to just get it to be more captivating for their viewers which totally did captivate me and that's why i ended up playing it in the first place but overall i don't think there's much to the end of this Um, I've also recorded it, so I might also put this as a YouTube video for those who want to check it out later. And I think I will end this here. So if you enjoyed the screen, make sure to press that like button. And thanks again for checking it out. And hopefully we'll see you in the near future for future streams. Bye everyone and take care.